How are you, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Teacher Kaligo Doto Njige or Teacher Kadonji. The man of literature and the, the young African light from Tanzania, Africa. Dear listeners, especially students from 5 and form 6, listen to the play analysis. I will mail when I want. Written by Ngugi Wathiongo and Ngugi Wamiri in a year of 1977. In Gikuyu, Ezingaika Ndeenda. And then translated into English language in a year of 1982. I will mail when I want. Is a Kikuyu play, co-written by Ngugi Wamri and Ngugi Wamsiong. First produced in Kenya in 1977, and the story depicts a farmer who is tricked into risking his land due to the social and religious pressure. The prominent themes reflect a commentary on the hypocrisy and the corruption of religion and capitalism. And the politics explored in the play were controversial in post-colonial Kenya. The production of the play is widely believed to, to be the root of Mary and the Siongo's arrests and intentions without charges that the same year. The writers were released in 1978, along with other detainees, once Daniel Alapimor succeeded. Trainco, President Kenya, Kenyatta after his death. The play depicts the protests of peasants in Kenya after independence. It is a play that shows a plight, a difficult and a sad situation of the peasant families, like Gunda's farm. Kigunda is only one and a half acre, which he had considered the best of the farm, though the small piece of land is situated in the marginal area. The play dramatizes the high rate of exploitation as a foreigner. Using the units to exploit Kenyans, as we see the multinational companies from abroad, engineer people like Ahab Kioi, Wakanol, to exploit fellow Africans. So, the major attempt of this play is to dramatize the high exploitation of workers and the peasants by both the foreign capitalists and the indigenous people who act as a middleman. The playwrights discuss issues connected to neocolonialism and its effect. To the developing country. This place is criticism of the contemporary world where big companies from the developed countries in collaboration with the indigenous are exploiting the developing countries under the name of globalization. So this play is general an attack of neocolonialism. The play is made up of three acts where by act one is not divided in two scenes. Act 2 is divided into sin, in two, two scenes and Act 3 has three scenes. All these acts and scenes contain events and summarize. Act 1. At Kingdom's family, they are they having a poor life. He has square, mud world white, open, one loomed house. For the whole family, Kasson is using the floor as bed, where we see legs used as a bedding. Kigunda and Wangas are preparing for the visit, Kiyogi and his wife, Elizabeth. Kigunda mending the broken chair. In the process, he calls the title deed, fall on the floor. He picked it and looked at it and plowed of it, but Wangas never plays it as it is so small, and the land itself is unproductive. The playlight shows the concept of drunkenness in the country, especially people who have been dismissed from job. We see this through the drunker who passes by Kigunda, house a singing. He utters sarcastic words and starts to relate such that one guest gets annoyed and chases him away. Another aspect in this act is Halambe, 
for the churches and attempt the Christians to convert Wangas. Higund and Wangas are against the new religion and hate Halambe, which asked contribution for building churches from the poor. He says he does, he does not see the necessity of building church while it is used once a week. So Kigunda chased away the group of singers. Conflict between Gasoni and her mother. Mother complained that Gasoni is busy doing her hair while she has a lot of domestic activity. Her mother tells her to help her, but Gasoni becomes furious. She starts to complain of too much work and having not sent to school, and the state of poverty where she uses the floor as her bed and the legs as her bending. She started exchanging bitter words with her mother and let her father shoot as her in an intimidating manner. The parents start discussing modern children that they have undergone moral decay and they have no respect at all. Kigunda and Wangas discuss the problem of wages after running shortage of salt. Hence, they don't have man to buy it. They send Gasson to Kigamba to, to be salt. Kigunda says the price of different things have gone so high while Wangas have not risen. Kinguda complained that they take long time working farms of the rich. People like Kiwa Wanditika and the Kiwa Kano, but they are paid low wages. Kikunda says Ikiwa and Kiyo are exploiters. He is calling them bedbugs. In this act, we see the relationship between John Moon and Gathon. Wange says that Gathon is misbehaving because of the relationship between her and John Moon, who keeps on shooting on the road in the presence of the parents. Gathon goes to meet her boyfriend on the road. Wangas later gives the perhaps the visiting of Kyo and Jezebel is to discuss about the marriage of John Moon and their daughter. This was not the case of Kigunda, as he never thought of that. Kigamba and Njog are introduced in the play. They discuss the relationship between John Moon and Gathon. Njog cautioned them to tell Gathon to cut the relationship between her and John Moon, giving the lead on that. Rich man. Rich male to the rich and poor male to the poor. So there won't not be any marriage as Gasson and John do not belong to one class. They also discuss about their wages and the way they are exploited in the factories and farms and they blame their fellow Africans like Uwa and the Kiyoi Wakanon, who works to the interest of the whites in Europe and America. We see a rival of the expected guest plus two other people who make four gastes in total, for example, Kiyoi, Jezebel, Samuel Ndungil, and Helen, who are well dressed. They start preaching and convince Kiunda and the Wangas to be Christian and go to the church to have their wedding blessed. Kigunda gets annoyed and chases them away. Wangas blame him that he has done it in a hard man. He says he, he he should have waited till they finish the full purpose of share the station. At the end of this act, Garson comes in with new clothes and the new shoes. Kigunda and Wangesi are unhappy because they never bought their daughter those things, so they become fires. Garson tells them that she had been requested by John to accompany him to a Mombasa for a week. Kigunda was completely annoyed, but Gasson never cared about that. She left them and go with John. One girl called her husband, telling him to stop being dejected, as she still had her illusion that the distance of Koyo to go to the church would probably mean to pave the way to the marriage of their daughter and John. That is the active one. Let us look at it too. This act has two scenes. Scene one. Kigunda Bluff, Kigamba and Njog about Kyo's farm. That they want the son Johnny Mu to marry that. Why they want him and the one to be Christian 
so that the marriage can be accepted. The Gambian joke do not accept. The Gamba tells them that they must avoid promises, as promise does not mean deliver. Joke it says by saying rich families never marry from poor families. Joke still says that true love between the two does not base on wealth or property. The Gamba supports her and show his dejection against hypocrisy as people nowadays just go charges for fashion. Kigamba shows hypocrisy, and he say not only marriage, but also in churches. As he says, when the rich dies, they play for him. But when the poor man dies, they don't care about him or her, and they do not even play for burial ceremony. That is why Kigamba had a proof that a rich man's fat does not steal, mean that if someone is rich or a leader, People do not consider his or her weakness. Gigamba is against Christian marriage, claiming that even the traditional wedding has blessings. Gigamba says, New religion, blood the, by whites, intend to soften the Africans so as to get an easel, to penetrate and exhaust Africans by ex establishing what they want, citing the way Africans' religious leaders to the detention. Countries like Mania, Mageta, Holland, to facilitate the process of weakening the freedom fighter. Trying to persuade people to betray others by their secret, by some refused, like one in jail. Finally, after a long deception, he discouraged the blessing of marriage between Kigunda and Wangath in church and allowing the marriage between Gathon and Wangas to take place. Wangas seemed to be annoyed as one her marriage to be blessed in church so as to facilitate the marriage between her daughter and John Mohan, as she has the illusion that her daughter will have better life. As a result, she convinced her husband to go to Kyo's place to tell them that they accept his plan. He wouldn't accept and go to see Kyo the other day. That is the sin one. In Act 1, in Act 2. Let us look scene 2 in Act 2. I will mail when I want. Scene 2 at Kyoi home, where we see the difference between Kyoi's home and that of Kigunda home is well furnished TV, sofa set, plastic flowers on the third. Presence of electric, right, red clam, and etc. On the world world's written, Christ is the head of this house. The unseen, gasped at every meal, the silent listen to every conversation. This shows that there are Christians in the house. There are Jezebel, Kioi, Dungir, Helm, Ikua, and White. Ikua want to leave the place, but before he, be, he leaves, they discuss about the insecticide factory that their friends from abroad want to build. They say the factory should not build at the end, where important people live, but to the poor people like Kiunda. Ikua says the land to build the factory should be bought from poor people, as they sell their land because of the laziness. He says, when the land is bought, Kiyoi should not write his name, rather he should write as of his wife or his son, Johnny Moon. These people seem to use their wealth in, mar in marrying men wives. For instance, Kua Onditika is polygamist, as he has two wives, and he has the intention of having the third one. After the departure, Ikiwa, Kiyoi tells Ndungira that, he has sent his son to Marini to check the plot he has bought near the Watambai, where he wants to elect a hotel. He is of tourism. He says the hotels are very profitable as they are meant tourists from different countries America, France, and Germany. Kyoi blaming the worker that the usual demand increases salaries, giving reason of paying Kyoi's 
with paying school fees or having st sick people in hospitals. Within this thing, the rich are criticizing the churches of the poor just because they are run by illiterate people. The life of Kiunda and Wanges at Kiyo's place. Wanges is humiliated by the white who draws her away a tray as she tries to pick up a, a cup of tea. This is show that at Kiyo's farm, food is prepared by considering the number of people. This is Western culture. Also, Kiunda and Wanges are given water from the drum hard thumb of it is in the huge yard on the third. This is another humiliation. He won't express what blood them that are, he says they are read the, their marriage to be blessed in the church. Kiyoyes are so impressed to hear that. Kigunda introduced the inch of economic crisis. He he, can, he cannot afford the expenses. Kiyoyes advised him to take the law, promising him to secure the law. Kigunda agreed with the idea he promised to bring the title did next day. That is the act two. Let us look the last act, act three. And this act has three sins. Sin one. New outlook at Kigunda's place. New plate scarves, basing new dining table with chairs, suitcase on the wall. We see words like that of Kyo's home. Kigunda and Wanges are very happy with the changes in their determined to go to the church, with the blessing of their marriage. We see Wanges and Kigunda are rehearsing for the wedding ceremony, singing Christian songs. During the rehearsal, Gasonia lives weeping, claiming that she has cheated by John Moon after impregnated. She tells her parents that she has conceived because John tells her that she cannot marry a girl before being pregnant as he is afraid to marry a barn. Kigunda tells Gerson that it is what she wanted because she does not consider his advice. Wanga suggests that they should go to see Kyo for the matter and advise him to let children marry first before blessing their marriage. That is sin one. Sin two. At Kyo's place, where we see Kiyua and Kyo are alone in the room, he is a counting man. They also discuss the establishment of the factory. Kiyua suggests that they should buy the land to the poor people, and if Kigunda would accept that, it would be good. Kyo is a nepotism. As he says, suggests that John Moon should be the director of the factory. As he says that their sons should practice the responsibility. Child begins at home, he always said. After his departure of Ikiwa, Kigunda, and Wangesa case lives at Kiyo's place, they tell her how Kiyo Wakano to postpone their marriage blessing. Instead, they should let children Gasol and John Moon to marry first, as John has impregnated. Son. Kyo becomes angry and rejects the idea, and he says that his son cannot do that as he has been brought up in a Christian world. Kyo chases away Kigunda, claiming that he is telling him nonsense. Kigunda threatens Kyo that he will take the, ma the matter before the law, but Kyo says it will not help. Kigunda takes out his sword. Certain to kill Kyo. If he cannot sign the argument, Kyo is saved by his wife, who comes with his gun and order Kigunda to drop his sword. Kigunda drops his sword, but when he wants to take it, Jezebel fires the, the bullet in the air, where Kigunda falls down. It is in this point where we see that Gasson did, did not melt John, and it is in this point we prove that in your was saying that rich people never marry from poor, and the poor people never marry from the rich. It is in this point we see the concept of dissolution of Kigunda and Wanges as their illusion and did not come true. Let us look at the sensory. At Kigunda place, 
After two weeks, Kigunde is away in his home. It's like as it was the beginning of the play. As all things he thought were not there, expect the picture of Nebuchadnezzar and the words which was written on the wall. Wangas dejected and Njoki is near her, trying to comfort her. Kigamba is shaking his hand, showing this brief of what has happened. In this scene, we see how women and girls are being treated. Gason has been chased away from the home by her father. Something which makes Wangas uncomfortable. As she says, her daughter has gone to be a barmaid, which she associates it with being prostitute. Kigamba advised her not to call a children prostitute, as this negative repercussion has been caused by the parent who rejected women in giving them education. He says women have been neglected even before colonialism by tradition and customs. Kigamba complained that people have completely forgotten the role played by women from family to the nation level. He says women in Kenya fought for independence, but many of them dead in the forest sit there neglected. Jog says being a houseman is not a good job, hence he considers Gason that she's jobless. She also says houseman is being used by their bosses as their wife when their lady wife is away. Kigunda was dismissed from the job after exchanging bad words with Kyo. He is and has been sold by the bank to Kyo. He Kyo and the whites as he failed to pay back the loan because he engaged himself into drinking. Too much he sold these furnishes, but he never paid back the law. He wound a conflict with his wife, as, he wa as the wife is against the habit of drinking. One guess attacking Kigunda because of his habit, as a result Kigunda fight with his, with his wife. And they are separated by Kigamba and Njoki. Kigamba advised them to stop fighting as fighting cannot eliminate their problem. This shows that Kigamba is a wise man. Insist they should sit and think together the ways they can, they can use to solve their problems and think critically who are their lead enemies and how to fight against these enemies like exploitation, poverty, oppression, and etc. Kigamba insists unity is the only way they can use to eliminate poverty. He also discourages the habit of drinking so much as they cannot solve their problem in that way. That is the pro-tamal of the play I will mail when I want by Ngugi Wathiongo and Ngugi Wamere. Let us look at the figures of speech portrayed by Pelite Ngugi Wathiongo and Ngugi Wamere. Number one. Symbolism. The title, I mail when I want, has been used symbolically to represent the way people, especially girls, need freedom in different perspectives of life. For instance, the issue of Gasoni's marriage, whereby the mother forces her to get a husband, but Gasson tells her that she will mail when she wants. Gasson's soul. I shall mail when I want. Nobody will force me into it. Page 16. It also symbolizes too much freedom that girl want to have, which that into negative repercussion. It also shows the way people are traditional due to ignorance, hence they want things to happen as they want. Another symbolism. Bed bugs. This refers to the class of exploiters like Kyol, Ikiwa, and the, and the foreigners who use the poor people while paying them their low wages. Another symbol is gun and sword. This symbolizes the struggle between the superior against the inferior, as the rich versus the poor. The sword shows the weakness of the poor, while the gun shows the strength of the rich. Another symbolism, wedding. It shows the justification of love between the two. It also shows the satisfaction and the blessing given by the society to the couples. 
in the play we see the concept of second marriage between Gigunda and one guest at first. They refuse this show that people have freedom in making the decision. The acceptance of the second wedding shows the weakness of the tradition. Wedding that they are not blessed and traditional custom and the norms are not accepted. This symbolizes the acceptance of neocolonialism in African society. Another symbolism, trump, trumpet, this symbolizes the unit as it is used to call the oppressed, exploited, humiliated, so as to unite and struggle against evils and exploitation. Shown page 115. Number two, another figures of speech, hyperbole, example, your face shine like the clear moon at night. Another example of hyperbole, your eyes like the star in heaven, your blessings were full and pointed like the tip of the sharp pest thumb. Page 22. Another example of hyperbole. When I see her, when I see her, I'm unable to walk. Page 23. Another figure of speech. Number 3. Similarly, those are used to emphasize the idea or concept. As Gigamba says, Pubad is like poison in a boat. Page 42. Also, Ange says, Wedding cake, which is as white as snow or as white as wedding dress. Page 96. Another example of sim. We, the workers, are like that monkey. Page 33. Another figure of speech, number four, metaphor. Gigamba says, The owners of these companies are lead scorpions. Page 33. In this metaphor, Gigamba shows how the owners of the company save or saving for their interest and not to help the poor. Another example of metaphor, the region is the alcohol of the soul. Another example of matter, the region is the person of the mind. Page 61. Another figure of speech, number 5, personification. Kigunda says, that silence be the entire forest, making even the tree to listen. Page 23. In little sense, tree cannot listen. Wange tells Gigamba that Kigunda had become mad to Chibuku, required. Page 106. Another figure of speech. Number 6. You familiar? To use a word to reduce harshness of a particular word. Wange tells Kigunda that thought being a child. Does she love that man have pricked you? Needle. Page 20 up 21. Here's a prayer that uses euphemism. Example prick to needles to avoid mentioning the genital part. Another figure of speech. Number seven. Barbarism. Example. Shifting from one language to another. The aim of this is to emphasize the point, as Kigunda tells Gaston, if ever I see or hear that again, utakiona chamte makuni, to enable us, another example of barbarism, to enable us to educate boys and girls, go away, na uchunge mdomoa, page 17. Another figures of speech, number 8, sayings, these are given intention to one or to educate someone. Example, a man blacks his own pens, however thin. Page 4. Means that a person should plow his own property, however small. Another example of things. Man hands make work high. Page 12. This problem calls for unity. Hence people should unite to fight against malpractice. Another example of time. 
an ugly hill has no admire. Page 13. When guest tells Kigunda, this means that there is a tendency of neglecting people who fought for something, for instance, those who fought for independence. Another example of science, Utakiona Chamtemakun, page 17. This is a swahili proverb given to one or certain thumb. This was entered by Kigunda to intimidate this dog, his daughter. Another example of style, the given does not know when the granula is empty. Page 18. Kigunda says his, his wife to emphasize the way his function. Financial, he says he has given all the money to her. Hence, he does not have more money. Another figure of speech, Bambana, satire. Some of the characters have been used in a fun way, but intend to give a lesson to the society. For instance, in page 4, where the drunker, seeing that, he will remain when, when he wants, when all parties are alive. This makes people laugh. Here, the playwright want to show the weakness of the poor people, that despite of being poor, they drink too much instead of working hard. Also, the drinkers is fun. As he blames Kigunda, not as Kigunda, does not want to go with him to drink. Also, the end who see Kigunda has indulged into the drinking business after selling his property. That he bought from the loan he took from the bank instead of paying back the loan. This led to a, a caution of the, his piece of land. That is the figures of, of speech and language use in this play, I will mail when I want. Let us look at another element of literature, character and characterization. Number one, Kigunda. The exploited character bad-tempered and cruel to his family. He is Gasson's father and Wangke's husband. He is farm labor who received lower years. A drunkard, a man of contradiction. He is illiterate and not wise. He is fun character who despises women despised his weakness he have. Number two, Gikaamba. He is a factory worker who works for a long time and he is paid lower years. He is Kigunda's neighbor and joke husband. He is a wise man. He is a traditionalist. He is against a new religion. He is a patri patriotist and mobilized as he calls for the people to unite, as it is the only weapon for the success. He is a contrast contractive man as he always gives positive idea. Number three, Wangasi. She is Gigunda's wife, a wise woman than her husband. She forced her daughter to get married. She is also illiterate. She hates the tenders of drinking so much. She represents all women experienced humiliation from their husband by being beaten and isolated by the system. Number four, Gathon. She is not educated by Ega to be educated and mad girl. She does not want to be forced into marriage. Hence she wants Ferdo in her own affair. She is a lover of John Mohan who impregnated her. She was greeted by John Mohan as she ended being chased away by her father. She later became a bamed. She suffers humiliation of being called a whore or prostitute. She represents young generation who want changes after being frustrated with life. Number five, Jog. She is Gigamba's wife. She is aware of the existence of classes. Hence, she believes that it is very difficult for the rich to marry from the poor people. She also represents women who are oppressed. She is a wise woman. Number six, Ahab Kiyoi Wakano. He's a worse person. 
He's John's father and a Jezebel husband. He's a Kiwa's business partner, an exploiter. He's a black capitalist as he works for the interest of the white. Number seven, Ikua Wanditika. He's a Kiwa's business partner. He also represents the class of black capitalists who exploit fellow Africans. He's a polygamist. Number seven. Number eight. Ndungira. He saved and encouraged Kigunda and Wangas to be saved. He also represents the class of exploiters who collaborate with the foreigners to exploit fellow Africans. He himself plus Kyo and Ikua use the Bible as an, an instrument to soften fellow Africans so that they can do their evils without any protest. He is up becoming rich. That is characters and the characterization as the element of literature. Let us look them found in this play I'll Mail When I Want by Ngugi Wathiongo and Ngugi Wameri. Number one, exploitation. People like Gunda and Kigamba are selling labor, power, in the plantation of few people like Kioi, Ikiwa, and the whites. And they are paid low wages. This is through the use of indigenous like Kiwa and the Kioi, who act as a middleman, landlord, and churchman. These exporters link the multinational companies and Africans. Kigamba provides his manpower in the factory. He don't even have time to rest, but he's paid very little wages. Also, Kigunda works in his farm, but also he's paid lower wages. These people also use church to exploit people as they demand Kigunda and Wangas to have their marriage being blessed as we see that Christian marriage needs a lot of man. That is why Kigunda tax the loan from bank to facilitate the salmon. Also poor, people are exploited as they are demanded to, co to contribute something to the building of church, despite the fact that they are poor. Generally, we find that in this place, churches are used to clear the way for domination of neo-colonialism. Number two, land and nation. Poor, people like Gunda and Gigamba are netted from their fertile land. The minority like Yo and the Kiwa and the Tika own large pieces of land, and the foreign companies are the own people who own large and fertile land. The land has been taken from colonial era, and even after independence, the land has not yet given back the own. Poor people are marginalized, and they are given pieces of land to the area which are not fertile, as we lead from the Kigunda is having one and a half acre for the whole farm. Also, we see in the play that rich people who have wealth to take even the small land that poor people have. The foreigners want to establish a project, but they want to get a small piece of land from Vikunda, example, one and a half acre. Number two, awareness. People like Kigamba are aware of the existence of exploitation. That is why Kigamba complained that they work for long duration but they are paid low wages. He says they are paid the amount that cannot even sustain their lives. Kasson also is aware that education is very important. That's why she's complained to her mother for not having sent her to school. Also, Kasson is aware that she has the freedom of selecting her partner, so she knows her right to make the decision. Also, Angus is aware on the impact of drinking existence. That is why she tells Kingdom to leave that habit as she knows that she won't get away from the pit of poverty. She knows that many people who used to drink too much, they always ended up nursing. This is due to the fact that it sends drinking led to responsibility. Kigamba is aware on the best way of solving the existing problem. That is why she's, he says that they need to come together and think deeply so as to identify their lead animal so that they can select the best way to fight against himself or her. So Gigamba calls for unite and patriotism. Hence he uses a song to mobilize his fellow Africans. Number four.
education. In the play, we see that girls are not given chance to educate. They are left at home to not domestic to do domestic activity and to work in farms. For example, Gaston girls are not taken to school because of culture, influence the poverty of the family. In the play, we see that girls are not given equal chance as boys in education. Women are considered as people who are not important in the society. This is gender imbalance in the society. In the play, we see that education is so important that major who are illiterate fail to opt the best way of solving problems in different life perspective. Example, Kigunda. Number six, neocolonialism. Not only Germans, Japanese, or Americans who buy large area of Kenyan land for electing their factories and dominating major means of production, but also we see black imperialists enriching themselves under the, under the umbrella of neocolonialism. For instance, Kioi Ikiwa, who planned to create tourist hotel in Mombasa, but he does not want to recognize him, he uses the name of his son. Number seven, classes. Let the class of poor represent the Gund and the Kigamba, versus the class of rich represent the Kiyo and the Kiyo, who are antagonistic. This is because the rich use the poor to enrich themselves, other than like poverty, disappointment, love affair, and betrayal. Let us look at the conflict developed in this play. I will mail when I want. Number Conflict between Gaston and their parents. This is when Gaston complained about their poor living condition. She complained that she uses lugs on the floor as her bed. Also, she complained of not being taken to school. Like her brother, instead, she is left at home for domestic activity and for picking tea left so that she can not get mad. Another comfort is Gathon and her father. This is when Gathon is back from Mombasa as she tells her parents that she is pregnant. Another comfort between Gathon and John Mho. This is when John cheats Gathon to conceive so that he can marry. Her claim that he is afraid of marrying barren women. Gasson accepts that, but after being pregnant and tries to tell John, he refuses to chase Gasson away. Another conflict between traditionalists and the Christians. After the being with Sikh Gunda, one guess the Gamba and Jok against Christians, as Christians is connected to the whites, and they believe that if they accept Christian, is like to accept neo communism Another conflict between Kiyo's family and the Kigunda's family. The first conflict is when Kiyo and the Ndungil family went to Kigunda to preach him the word of God and convince her to be Christian. In this case, Kigunda seemed to have no interest, hence he chased them away. The second conflict in this when John Mhun impregnated Gatho, hence Kigunda and his wife decided to go to Kiyo's place to tell him about the idea to let the children man first his idea has completely damned by cure. This caused Gunda to be separated. Hence, he decided to pull out his sword to threaten Kyo so that he can accept the idea. Intrapersonal conflict. Example, Gathon, about the poor living condition of not being taken to school after being jilted. Another intrapersonal conflict. One guess about obstinate or stubborn of her daughter. Also, after her daughter being cheated about excessive drinking behavior of her husband, another interpersonal Kigunda, and help with low wages, which makes they live in poor living condition. Also, and help the system who seem to favor rich people, even if they are good. That's why Kigunda uses his sword. That is a conflict of the element of literature and living in this play. Let us look at the law and position of women in this play. Number one, women portrayed as parent and a character. For example, one guest portrayed by Pelight, Bogwa Thiong and Ngugwa Mere as a parent and a character.
another lol on the position of women number women portrait is an educated person example gathon number six women portrayed as a good advice example joke kigamba's wife advice kigunda and wankas to be aware with exploitation another law and position of women number four. women portrayed is a weak example one guess shown in active while after kiois and iq what the kigundas for in the advice to bless their marriage and one guess accept that situation in order to marry her daughter also women portrayed is person who are aware against the exploitation example joke and one girls that is the law and position of women in the society let us look the message found in this play a male when i want number one we should fight against neocolonialism so as to to lead development to our nation number two, we should unite so as to bring development in your family life and the nation life number three we we'll try hypocrisy is not good in our society that's why it led to underdevelopment of the country number four exploitation is not good to the poor people because led conflict number six medium exploiters should be discouraged or advised against the exploitation to the poor people that's the message of this play a male when i want let us look the last part the elevators of the play the play light has portrayed different things in his play that's why all things happen in the society or in his society but occurs in different words especially in our continent africa that's why the issue of exploitation still a problem in our continent the issue of betrayal hypocrisy still a problem also there are the middlemen exploiters still present in our nations that's why the rich people exploit the poor people another level ones the issue of classes between rich and the poor a presence
and also the issue of bad leadership, bad government, still a problem in Africa. Also, Google was young, portray different style. This is not relevance, but is the element of literature, the part of style. Guki Wasiongo portrays different technique or style in his play. Number one, the use of songs. We see different characters like Kamande Wamunyo is a drunk person who passes near the house, Kigunda's house and sing the and sing the song. I shall mail when I want, while all parties are still alive. But the film and the technique of the playwrights to emphasize something like exploitation to the poor people. And also the songs of Vigunda after a land taken by Kyo. And also play like use different style, like the use of dialogue between characters and another characters, like Kigunda and the Gamba, Kigunda and Wanges, Kigunda and the Kigo. Another style, the use of Sorilo or monologue. That's why there are characters like Gunda, Wangesi, Kigamba. They are speaking themselves in speech. Also, the use of said point of view. Like he, she, and they. And also the use of narration. That's why the playwright just narrates the story of these characters, the poor and the rich people. That is the style or technique portrayed by playwrights. And the setting of this play was located in Kenya after independence. There are setting of urban setting and the rule of setting. That's the end of play analysis. My name is teacher Kadigo Dotonjiki. Or teacher Kadonji, the man of future. The young African writers. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment below this video. I would like to thank you, to thanks for listening to this video and audio. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye.